Hello Odoo Odooers and welcome to this video on delivery methods and payment providers. Odoo offers a variety of shipping and payment options for our customers. Let's discover them together and see how we can configure them to fit our needs. So here we are on our database and the first thing I want to go is go to configuration and settings. And if you scroll down in the uh, delivery section for the purpose of this demo, I've already activated all of these delivery methods but you can, of course, choose which one fits uh, your business best. Now, let's click Delivery Methods right here. So here we can see that we have DHL, UPS, FedEx, and so on. Now, the one that I want to show you first is the Pickup in Store one. Here you can configure at which physical locations your customers can pick up their order. If you have several stores, then you have to create one line over here per store. So for example, here we'll just choose our main store, and then now we'll publish it. And let's now uh, open another shipping method to see how it's configured. So let's take, for example, Bpost. So my provider here is Bpost, and I can select it from a list of various others. The integration field determines what happens when a delivery order is validated in Odoo. There are two options here, get rate and get rate and create sh shipment. So first, get rate, what does it mean? This connects to the carrier to calculate the shipping cost but doesn't book the shipment. Think of it as checking the price without confirming anything. Once the delivery order is validated, you or your team will need to manually book the shipment with the carrier outside of Odoo. The second option, get rate and create shipment, goes a step further. Not only does it calculate the shipping cost, but it also books the shipment with the carrier as soon as the delivery order is validated. This way, the entire process is handled in Odoo, saving you that manual step. So, depending on how much control you want Odoo to have over your shipping process, you can choose the option that works best for your workflow. So, if you have more than one website, you'll be able to indicate on which of them this option is available. I can also set uh, margins I want to take upon delivery costs. I can give the shipping for free if, it, uh, if the total reaches a certain amount. And in the Availability tab, I can set a maximum weight over here and a maximum volume, which means that if the total volume of weight of the order is higher than this number, then it's not possible to ship using this particular method. Okay, now let's go back to uh, our list of shipping methods and let's create a new one. I will name it Green Mobility. Uh, we'll cre create a delivery product over here which we will name Green Mobility as well. There you go. And in the provider field, uh, we'll say that it's not a fixed price, but we'll say it's based on rules. Now, because I did that, this tab called Pricing appeared. So here, if I click on Add a Line, I can configure the shipping methods pricing. So I'll set the price condition on the weight and we'll say that it has to be smaller or equal to 0 0.5. And uh, so this means in other terms that if the product is over this specific weight, then this delivery method will not be available. For the price, which is here, we'll say that it will cost 3 euros, no matter what, plus 0 0.8 times its weight. Okay, so let's save this and we see that our rule has been created right here. Now, all we have to do is publish it, and now this delivery method is available to our customers on the website. Now, let's talk about payment providers. To add them to our shop, we'll go to Configuration, and then we'll go to Payment Providers. So you see that we have a multitude of providers already available here, and some of them are published, others are not. Now, for the purpose of this video, we have created one that is called Demo. Let's take a look. So first you can uh, choose whether the provider is disabled, enabled, or in test mode. In test mode, a fake payment is processed through a fake payment interface. We recommend you do this when you set up the provider for the first time. In the configuration tab, you can set up several important options that control how payments are processed on your website. The payment methods, field lets you define the payment methods the provider will offer, like credit cards or bank transfers or digital wallets. Now this allows saving payment methods option uh, lets you, your customers save their payment details for future purchases. If enabled, 
returning customers can check out faster because they will not need to re-enter their payment information. Now the capture amount manually option is useful for businesses that need to confirm an order before charging the customer. When enabled, Odoo will authorize the payment but will not capture the amount immediately. You can capture it later when you're ready to finalize the order. And the allow express checkout option lets customers skip straight to the payment step bypassing parts of the standard checkout process. This is good for improving the shopping experience and reducing cart abandonment. Now for avail availability over here, you can set restrictions like a maximum order value, so to only allow this payment method for orders under 100 euros, for example, as well as limit usage to specific currencies and countries or leave it open to all. And then finally, let's go to Messages tab, where we have several messages that fit this payment provider. For example, when a payment has been authorized over here, then this message will be displayed to the customer. And I can change it if I want to, of course. All right, now let's go to our website and let's try all of this out. So let's say that the client wants this product. He adds it to the cart. He proceeds to checkout. Um, and then we go to the checkout. And here he has the option to set a different billing address than the delivery address. And we also have the delivery method that we created earlier, which is the green mobility. And we also have the ability to pick it up uh, in store. Now, if you go to the next step, uh, and after the extra info step, uh, here we can see that we have the demo payment method that we set up. And there you go. Now our clients can choose the easiest method to receive and pay for your products. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to check out our online documentation for more information about this topic. See you next time.